We are here at Cal State Los Angeles. We are in the Criminalistics Department, which is inside the Harrodsburg Davis uh, Criminal Science Center. It opened just a couple years back, a uh, joint project of the state, the county sheriffs, and the Los Angeles Police Department. We are about to go into Professor Don Johnson's Crime Reconstruction Lab, and he is going to take us by the hand and lead us down the path to some very dark places. Don? Hello, Richard. How are you? Are we, uh, it's good to see you. Are we, are we ready for a tour of the Crime Reconstruction Lab? Yes, of course. Very good. Let's go. All right. So this is, this is your classroom. This is one of your classrooms. Yes, this is uh, Cal State Olympics Crime Scene Studio where we can uh, uh, construct mock crime scenes you, for you, our students. Right, you, you've, got, you've got a mannequin here? Yes, um, which actually was uh, uh, donated to us uh, by uh, CSI Miami, That's the, the production <laughs> company. Uh, you've got some blood spatter samples, you've got tire tracks samples. Okay. Yes. Um, let's go back here. I think you've got a nice, a nice wall of uh, stuff to look at. Okay. So, wow. Here's a nice collection of ballistics. You've got some bullet entry holes in, yes, le in Lexan, uh, glass or Lexan? Through glass. Glass. Yes. Okay. And actually, here, it, it's to demonstrate that uh, we can. Determine the, the sequence of the bullets that is determined which bullet was fired first. Oh, right. Okay, interesting. And then we've got, of course, a reconstruction of these are casts. Casts yes, of from, uh, shoe, imprints. shoe imprints. Mm -hmm. And I imagine the tire tracks on the wall. There's a similar process. Yes. And of course, uh, a fingerprint sample. Yes. All right. Why don't we quickly talk about what this this workshop? that we're going to offer on the 30th of January and again on the 13th of February. Let's let's talk about what this what this workshop is going to be. Yeah. So we're, the goal of the workshop is the nature of forensic evidence and investigation. Yes. And, and I, I think a really good jumping in spot for people is for you to tell us about the, the role and significance of the bodily fluids, blood, semen, and saliva in the role of forensic investigation and then maybe take us back a little bit higher and, and, and put that in the context of, of, of forensic science as a, as a discipline. Oh, yes. Well, um, uh, blood, semen, and saliva uh, represent the, well, the major types of biological evidence that we find in crime scenes. And if we can uh, identify these body fluids and determine uh, who donated them, the source of them, right. we can then uh, well established that a crime has occurred. It, so it, it can serve many functions. Uh, it can establish that a crime has occurred. It can identify the victim of a crime. It can identify the perpetrator of the crime. Uh, these fluids uh, can also uh, serve to reconstruct uh, the scene, that is, uh, determine the circumstances uh, surrounding the crime. So, similar to the bullet hole entry. Yes. The, the, the nature of the blood spatter on the scene will help you reconstruct the sequence. Yes, all of the, the, the physical evidence here, well, tells a story. And it, it's up to the forensic scientists then to know how to, well, how to read the, read the text, so to speak, to, uh, to develop the story. What the crime scene tells you. Yes. Which is, which is something that, that exists, it's a very precious, limited thing. The crime scene. Yes. You have hours, maybe at best days, to collect evidence, and then you come back here, you come back to other labs, and you start putting everything together. Yes. Uh, the uh, uh, physical evidence at a crime scene is very fragile, and it needs to be uh, processed uh, uh, as soon as possible. And so there is a great deal of uh, pressure on investigators to uh, perform at the, at the scene. So, so this workshop, this, so now that we've put on the table the, the, the very flashy sort of salacious terms of blood, semen, and saliva, maybe we can step back and you can, as a, as a forensics investigator, give us a more uh, scientific approach to how you take 
say these, these three bodily fluids and the other collection of physical evidence, ballistics, broken glass, and, and, and break that down into the different aspects of forensic investigation. Uh, yes. Which, which, which is what the workshop is going to focus on. Yes. Because the workshop has three sections. Right. That's right. Well, um, a crime scene uh, can be uh, composed of many different types of evidence. Uh, biological evidence is one. There can also be uh, trace evidence, such as uh, fibers, glass, soil, paint, uh, also firearm uh, evidence, bullets, casings, gunshot residue. Uh, so crime scenes uh, can vary tremendously uh, in their composition. And so forensic scientists then have developed many tools that can be used then to uh, analyze this evidence in order to understand the circumstances of the crime. And so our workshop then focuses on uh, three of the basic uh, disciplines uh, within, the, within criminalistics. Forensic biology, forensic chemistry, and crime scene investigation. Right, and so forensic um, chemistry focuses on trace evidence with narcotics. Being that's one example. One, one, yes. that's one example that Isaac and Chris do. Yes. And then Stacy and, Kurt and Kirsten focus for forensic biology. They focus on, uh, there's a lot of discussion about spermatozoa. Yes. Yes. And, and yes, DNA. And, right. And an important part of the work. Yes, they, they talk about sperm collection a great deal, like much, much to everyone's. And that's the topic of their uh, research project. It's a good topic. But what, uh, all of the students, uh, at the workshop will present on original research that they're performing. And unlike what, uh, well, the television programs might present, there are definite limitations with our techniques, definite uh, shortcomings in forensic science. There are many questions we can't answer just uh, because we are, well, technology isn't sophisticated. So the students are actually presenting on research that will eventually advance uh, advance the field. Wow, so so people can, if they come to this, will actually see what might come down the line in two or three years. Exactly. Uh, so we're presenting a state-of-the-art, you know, cutting-edge uh, research in the forensic sciences, right, that may be soon um, you know, shown on television. But this, this is, this is your, your, and, and you give the, the, the final part of the workshop, you give about 45 minutes to an hour breakdown of what it is to go into a crime scene and collect evidence and tie everything from the three workshops together. Yes. And at the end of this, I'm, I'm speechless and I've seen it all. And I'm just, I, I'm so incredibly wonderfully awful. Um, do we want to go over and to the, uh, to the kit? And, and you can tell us about the kit? Certainly. Okay, great.